Brendan, yeah. how did you see the game today? <clears throat> Obviously disappointed with the result. We um, had created enough chances to get something from the game. Um, we just uh, got punished for not being aggressive enough in our in our defending for the for the goal. And then uh, second half we, we dominated the game. Yeah, we gave away a couple of counter attacks late on, but but we were creative and uh, the keeper makes a good save from the corner and we get into some really good areas, but just couldn't quite finish. So uh, so it ends up a, a disappointing result for us. What was missing from your players today? No, I just thought that we were too passive in the first half with them without the ball. Um, like I say, we uh, the goal that we conceded, we, we got to be we got to be give them more pressure. You know, when you're there, you got to be really physical and and, and stop stop the shots. Uh, second half, we were more aggressive when we were there. We were pressing and dominant, uh, and then that then spills into our our football. So uh, so yeah, pleased with the reaction, second half, but. Uh, but we can uh, we can be better in the first half. You went with a back five, back three, depends on how you interpret it, matching up what Legia were going for today. Is that a system that you're looking into using more as well domestically? No, it's a system we've used all my time. Here we used that system when we won the FA first Cup. Time this season though, right? Uh, yeah, we're only what seven games in. Sure, sure. So, <laughs> yeah, but we, we've played it for two and a half years, so we understand the structure and. Uh, like I said, we, we, we went with two up front. Of course, our preparation was curtailed a little bit with uh, we, we kills and whatnot, but we still had enough quality to, uh, to get something from the game. What have you said to the players in the dressing room just now? No, for me, listen, the, the group's still wide open. There's only two, two games gone, so it, it's really wide open. But I think we just have to start rather an easier way into the game start with the aggression because when we're aggressive and and we're active in the game then we uh, we're a much better team and we showed that in the second half what is your message to the fans obviously it's been an amazing few years for Leicester but it's one win in six now mm. club spent money everyone spends money these days mm. but how how do you see it yeah it's okay we uh, obviously want to be better in terms of the results but yeah, listen, for two and a half years, the sun has shone on this team and this club. You know, we've had a great moments. Uh, you go through a little period, of course, we don't quite get the results. Um, we just have to be more consistent in the game. We're only playing for 45 minutes and, and that's not enough. So uh, I think once we get that balance and stability in our, in our defensive setup, then that'll be better for us. And obviously it's a difficult challenge managing a squad. Six changes today. I know you're keeping in mind keeping players fit. Given Leicester's situation in the group, will you consider throwing in maybe more players who play in the Premier League, such as Harvey Barnes, Jamie Vardy, as, as starters? Possible. Listen, for the result, I assume the responsibility. So I always pick a team to win. You know, we won this group last season playing in the Europa League by making lots of changes in every game. Uh, we should have won the first game and didn't against a top, top team in Italy. And tonight, we uh, we done enough to get something from the game. So, uh, so yeah, I'll first of all have a look going forward. You know, we get another, we get Spartak Moscow away, which should be a tough game. Uh, but uh, but we've got enough time to, to qualify out of the group. Uh, tonight's a disappointment for us. But, uh, but yeah, just think our consistency in our game uh, can be better, and that's my responsibility. Brendan, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks.